slid in by yes, of course, Erling Haaland. Welcome to Manchester. Manchester City have the goal that their early dominance has merited. It's the left back, Jao Cancelo. He shoots, he scores! Kevin De Bruyne! KDB! Hello and welcome to the City FBL show. I'm FG and I'm in the studio with Nader Manua and a man making his debut on the FBL show, Stephen McNerney. Welcome to the studio, lads. How are you on this fine afternoon, Nader? <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm OK. I feel like this could be a bad day for me, but overall, I'm all right. How about you, Steve? I'm, I'm substantially better than your okay. guest right now in terms of mood. I'm happy to be here as well, FG. It's nice I to have like gonna be some you here. We are going to look at our FPL teams in a minute. We have got the Manager of the Month award to come in the show, so stand by. But there's only one place to start, isn't there, lads? Stephen, you have started very, very, very well yes, in have. FPL. <clears throat> um, what has been your secret to success? You were actually top of the FPL League. All will be revealed later on, but a certain someone in the studio has taken over you. <laughs> what has been your secret to success so far? Oh, I had this tactic, right, where I would pick good players <laughs> and hope these good players scored goals and got assists. Now, honestly, I just kind of went for a bunch of players that I thought would get assists in every position. And that sounds really basic, but it's essentially just true. And I've not really changed it. I've made one change throughout this whole time. Um, I just brought Saliba in at one point after the first game. Um, and I've just trusted them, you know, I've done a pep. I've just trusted the players on the pitch to get the job done. And uh, for me, so far, it's because you can laugh at Nadim, but it's worked, mate, it's worked. The proof is in the, the FPL pudding, you know? Gosh. We are going to take a look at all of our FPL teams in a second. Let's start then with your Stephen. Yes. Let's have some analysis of you. You are on 856 points, which yeah. is incredible. Like, it's a very, very good start. You just said you've made one change. That, yes. for me, Nadim, I don't know if you agree, that's mental. I yeah. honestly picked that team at the start of the season. I can't remember who I took. Um, who did I take out? I took out uh, Trent, Trent for Saliba. So I took out Trent um, after a couple of weeks and put Saliba in. And other than that, though, Trippier I thought was guaranteed points because he's Trippier. Uh, Perisic is a winger playing when he was down as a defender. So I thought I'm going to choose him. Cancelo, Cancelo. Martinelli I thought would have a great season this year because uh, I feel like it was going to be his breakout. And looks happened, you know. Mm. Zaha, Bowen, guaranteed points. And then Jesus. Always going to do all the tetter. Haaland, you know, you got to choose Haaland. Imagine not choosing Haaland, by the way. Imagine not choosing Haaland. You know Couldn't what? Be you me. Couldn't it be me. Sound so, so simple. So, from one man who's doing very, very well to someone in the pits of despair. <laughs> who is not quite doing as well. He did not captain Haaland. You're obviously missing that. You've obviously really behind because you didn't captain Haaland. It's but, many things, yeah. But, Nadem did get 70 points in the last game week. Let's take a look at his team. Nadem, this could be the start of something new. This could be like <laughs> the revival. I don't know if you're like you're supportive or patronising. I'm trying to figure it out. But, you know, like Steve, what I did at the start of the game, I picked loads of good players who oh, I thought really? would get goals and assists. And they didn't. <laughs> and they didn't do it in week one. No week two. No week three. No week four. But this is looking up. Like, even this week, I think I had 70 points. I thought it's this good, is fantastic. Good. Yeah, I thought this is great. Well done. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> do you know what? I think I got two points less than the leader of the whole thing in our group. But I was still falling further behind everybody else because they were getting, like, 80 points plus. But I, I've made I'm a couple of tweaks. Choice, yeah. I've made a couple of tweaks. And I think this is my rise now to mid-table. When you say, I think this is my rise to the mid-table, he just said. Yes. We can quote that. We can clip that. Clip it. I know the guys in the clip studio it. will I'll have the clips it. ready I'll for me. We have got some interesting clips from the first episode. You guys will have to go back if you haven't already watched it. Is that when you said play um, over us? That's where you said... We'll, we'll where you said play over us or a different one? We were talking about... Is that the one you're talking about? You said back over us over Haaland. Is that the one you're talking about? I, I don't have a clip. Stephen, I have no idea what he's talking about. Anyway, happened, apparently. I'm That's what you were saying. From one man to another. Here we go. Here we go. Let's talk about the leader of the FPL show so far. Top of the FPL league. <laughs> No idea how I've managed it. If you want any tips, just try and sort of wing it. Yeah. Because honestly, I have also used my triple captain. Yeah. It's good to know because you're top now. You arrived late today. So if this is the standard, <laughs> then please, everybody, if this show goes out a day late, two days late, 
Just know it's because our leader has decided this is the new tone for the Can show. Can I just say as well, like, I was quite busy last week. I had a son, you know, which is a pretty distracting thing. So I didn't change my team at all. Not that I would have changed it, to be honest. But I would have took Holland out of... So I'd be top... I'm just saying, I'm giving you that. Yeah, he's, he's, he doesn't deserve it. I'm, I'm, everybody... you know, I'm rooting for you. Yeah. I hope he finishes second. I, the reason I was late, by the way, was because I was re revising for the FPL weekend, like I do every week, as I'm very professional about FPL. And having a son and all that stuff, that comes second to FPL. We know that. <laughs> that's, that's why that's, we're that's in the studio, actually. okay? That's, that's yeah, so we're not true. taking any excuses. It's my fault. It's true. It's true. But looking at the team, we did mention off camera how everybody sort of has the same players now mm, yes. in FPL. Yeah. So when we're talking about bridging the gap, even Stephen, me and you, if we have to say, if I, I copy your tight. team, you can't catch me. I'm just not going to tell you my team. That's, that's my trick. <laughs> <Yeah, it's, laughs> but no, it's like we, we need, to, yeah, we've got a couple of changes in between us, haven't we? I just need a, you need a miracle, mate. Yeah. You need no, to... no, I've, I've, I've accepted kind of like Liverpool that like this just isn't going to be my season. So I'm going to fight for whatever I can. And yeah, there'll be little, little differences, but it's, it's a horrible feeling when you don't have somebody that everyone has and everyone's up and down, dancing, celebrating like, yeah, this is incredible. And look at my team and nothing's changed. The points are exactly the same. So I'm, I'm on board now. Do any names come to, to mind when you say Through this season. Um, yeah, like so oh, yeah, I, why would you not choose Haaland? But like, interestingly, I had De Bruyne start the season and then I naively took him out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, oh, mate. But, you, you know. You're KDV out of your team. Yeah, I know. Who is this guy? I, know. I, I, I just don't understand it, Aidan, hey, because do, I've followed his it. advice and I'm top, so. That's, a, that's a defender's I, Do as I say, no, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> do as I say. Every single one of us in the studio, we are vying to be top of our mini, match day live mini league. Now, when we're looking at our league, seven of us are in the top 10% oh, of the world. Look at the really? standard. Oh, that's ridiculous. Look at the standard of this. I mean, leading the way, I'm not quite sure how. It's not by many points, to be honest. This could be the last time I say it. It's close. But man. I am top, close. and this is the last episode until the World Cup, so we'll take that. Um, going all the way down. There's a split in the league here. There's a split in the league here. You can see from eight to nine. Nine to 14 is close. And then eight and above, they're in just different gear. I'm coming, you know. <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or not, as wild as this may be, I've dropped to the bottom, but I'm closer to everybody else. Figure that one out. I'm not really sure it's going well for you, Nathan. Did you hear what I said? I, I have dropped to the can. bottom, I'm be honest. but I'm now closer to where I was trying to get to, which was mid-table. I'm literally what, 26 points now, off. I'm 26 points off ninth. Think about that. You're 26 points off ninth, OK. The week before, I mean, the last month, I was 50, Do you want to ask 60 the points. Do you Stephen? You go for it, mate. Do you want to ask it? Right, okay. Go on. How many points are you from me and Stephen, Nathan? I don't even see the top of the league. <laughs> but it's as you guys, as you mentioned just before, <laughs> I've fallen into one. I've fallen into an incredible league. Like you say, seven of you are in the top five percent of the whole game. It's 149, by the way. By the way, just a quick maths there. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. We are in the top ten percent. That's of the what world. I mean. You're the in the top ten percent. Like it's I ridiculous. can't. That's not me. If that's the bar, that's then obviously good, I'm it? failing. I'm. I'll I reckon fine. that's but like something to put in like. Doesn't that justify this show as well, by the way, in general? You know what I mean? This show, full of experts. Top everywhere. 10% in the world. Uh, so the standard is not just on the pitch for Man City, it's also for the FPL league with all the <laughs> Man City Listen. people. And if, like, it's insanity. We're leading okay. the way off just, the pitch. Just so, well. just so we're clear here, yeah? You said, said, it, she said it was gaining. Look, that says 70. <laughs> That's yep. 44. That's 39. It is. 64, 56, 50, 43, 60. See? I'm gaining. You are gaining. See that? You had a very, very good one. I'm locked in, guys. I'm locked in. <laughs> now, there's not just our mini league. There is also our match day live and citizens league for you guys at home to join, where you can compete against everybody in the studio and other Man City legends and presenters. The code is on screen. Simply join for your chance to win some incredible prizes, just like Gareth did in the last manager of the month, who is walking away with a signed Manchester City squad shirt. And we can see a lovely picture of him and his daughters, Emma and Bex, who are playing fantasy for the first time. Good luck, guys, for the rest of the season. What an incredible prize for simply doing what me and Stephen have done all throughout <laughs> and just be good at FPL. Now, I'm happy to announce everybody in the studio. Sorry, Nadam. <laughs> Prince Kai, you are our manager of the month for October. What an absolutely incredible achievement. You are walking away with a signed shirt. And remember, you guys at home can do exactly the same by simply joining our league and being good at FPL.
Now, one man who is breaking all types of records in the Premier League and is also on the sign squad shirt for you to win is almost about to break a FPL record. Nadem, do you have any idea who this is? Uh, hmm, is it any players that I had at the start? <laughs> I don't think so, so I'm guessing it's Erling Haaland? Erling Haaland. He wasn't fit for the Leicester game, but he's currently on track to get 370 points, which would put him 63 and points uh, ahead <laughs> of the all-time <laughs> FPL, Mo Salah, who got a record of 303 points in 17-18. This man is inevitable. We've run out of words for him, Stephen. We the, do, we do indeed. This man has got to be an effort. Surely it's now inevitable that everyone playing FPL puts him in their team. You have to, don't you? I mean, the, the, the stats, the numbers, the, I mean, look, at the, look at him, he's beautiful, he's it's, wonderful. <laughs> and he's, he's just a goal machine, isn't he? An absolute goal machine. And he's going to break records, not just in FPL, but in the Premier League anyway. It's, so like, you've got to have him. You've got it's to have more, him. No, the thing is, it's more than that, though. It's not about just having him, it's about captaining him. Yep. Because I've also Every had him week. for half the season, but I've not captained him that whole time. And lo and behold, I am in the pits of despair. So, you know, there is more to it. And even one week, I think, did you triple captain him? I did. How I many scored. points did you get for that? He scored once. It wasn't a great week for Erlen Haaland, but you know what? Points are points. Yeah, I got triple captain him in the first week, not fully knowing what it meant, if I'm being honest, but he got two against West Ham, so I was happy about that. You know? Yeah, he's, he's, he, so I used it well. He is inevitable, and then it seems like KDB is feeding him as well with balls in like that. So, oh, you know, maybe it pays to, to have both. both of them in the team, right? Absolutely. Both of them are pretty much certainties. Now, looking, looking at the goals he's scoring, it just seems like he's just not going to stop. We always say it. And for me, it has to be in everyone's FPL team. I think, I don't know what the exact percentage is of people it's using like 82 it, 82 but it's in the 80s yeah. and it's insanity. I, I admire those who are still resisting the hard and pop. <laughs> like, yeah. no, no, that, that is people who aren't Manchester City. Yeah, listen, I'm absolutely refusing. I'm, listen, I am, yeah. I am stubborn, but <laughs> I was like, nah, I've got to jump on this now. Yeah, Haaland has to be in your team. Now, let's take a look at the all-time top five in FPL. Obviously, Mo Salah, who is, for me, last season was incredible as well. But we're talking about 17, 18, where he got 300 and I think that season, I think he got like 32 goals and like yeah. 10, 12 assists or something. He was basically just printing points. And think how many like bonuses he got in that time. But Haaland is literally set. To, Pro yeah. Projected 370, that's... No, that's a disgrace. It's just abnormal. insanity, isn't it? It, it? Obviously, it Pensive. is that's a long amazing. season, but that's ridiculous for this point. He's sort of thrown the whole FPL spectrum... Yeah, oh, it's, it's so, so much so that I think for the build-up to the game on the weekend against Leicester, they're like, more people cared about whether he was playing for the fantasy as opposed to the game <laughs> itself. Like, there was real trauma on the internet about, like, is he in or is he out? That was the big build-up. Oh, I was getting texts from loads of people. So I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But people were texting me who had never texted me before going, is he available? So like, I don't know. <laughs> text <laughs> exactly. back, mate. You know, like, all the time. Yeah, exactly. I might have sent a few texts to try and see if he was available. I didn't get a reply. But one day, <laughs> I might be able to just find out. But we all made that mistake. I still took the risk and then I had a first sub as Martinelli because... A half-fit Haaland is just worth it, in my opinion. Yes, 100%. We've also got super Frank Lampard on there. Man City. Played for Man City. Man City legend. Mm. Man City legend, we'll say. During the World Cup, you guys have got unlimited transfers to do essentially whatever you want in your FPL team. There's no FPL going on, but you've got a lot of time to plan and prepare, which I'm sure you guys will do. But here at City, we have brought together the fixtures before the World Cup and where we think you might score the best points. Let's take a look at the fixtures and the teams involved. Lads, you'll have to give me your football expertise on these. We're starting with Brighton. There is one man who is scoring a lot of points for Brighton. I don't know if he's in any of your no, teams. Trust he, like was, he was in mine for a week. Oh, was he? Yeah. yeah. You then I took him out, out and then you know what happened? <laughs> he scored he again. Yes, he man. did it again. He's no, no one third that. in the midfielder standards, Trossard. Yeah. Um, he is just ridiculous and he scored his fourth goal against Chelsea yeah, this he's... season. It seems like he scored a lot more, you know. Yeah, he's he's certainly is, yeah. More, yeah. He is. Yeah, and, he's you know, the word is maybe Chelsea will be taking another one of their assets. Um, Do Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. But, yeah, he's going to be a good pick. Insider information. So they've got... <laughs> Wolves away and Villa at home. Brighton were one of the best teams I've seen at the Etihad in terms of playing yeah, football. Yeah, very, so very good, yeah. When they came, they came to us. So that'll be one to watch. And we have to move on to Everton. Right, I can't believe I'm saying this. Alex Iwobi. Top. Absolute baller. Flying, yeah. Flying. He's a midfielder I mean, as well. He is a midfielder. He's got six gold involvement already. Yeah, flying. Like, this thing now, it's all about, like, differentials. You know, when everyone's got the same players. But then are you brave enough to throw them in? Because with the differentials, if he doesn't work out, you just seem like an idiot, don't you? That means dropping Bowen, Martinelli or Zaha for me. And it's like, as good as he's doing, you know, what, they're doing better. Maybe. What about Dominic Calvert-Lewin? He's now fully fit. Mm, <laughs> tricky on that. Obviously, we've only got a couple of games. We're looking at the fixtures. Leicester at home, I could fancy him to get a goal. 
There'll be goals in the game yeah, at Bournemouth. Instead we, of who? Well, if we... Well, no, no. Why do we try it for us? Oh, yeah, you do, you do, yeah. <laughs> Take I'm, Harland out. Tony's you know. suspended. I'm only giving tips to the guys watching, all <laughs> yeah. right? It, totally. It's impossible. I haven't Tony suspended, so there's, I think there's 25% of the game had him. So maybe you do look for a Calvert-Lewin, but then I feel like Everton don't score that many goals, do they? They don't, do they? Mm, it's a tough one, that. That is a tough one. One that's not really a tough one is Manchester City with two home games. You have to back them because we've yeah. got a very, oh, very, yeah. very good home record. We've got a, a massive amount of players that we could use. Obviously, we've got the obvious ones, Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland. What about players like Akanji, who have been getting a lot of minutes? No, this is a team? Phil kind of spell as well. Phil, Phil Foden. He's not in my team, but I would be looking at him for something like this because I can imagine a couple of goals and assists in, during those games. Mm. He's so good. He's very good. Yeah. So, so good footballer, Phil. Just signed a new contract with us. We're all absolutely buzzing. Love you, Phil. Wherever you are. <laughs> we, we do love you in the studio, Phil. What a baller. He makes football look so easy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's incredible. Like, he, and he's, what is he, 21? 22? Yeah, I think yeah. that. It's second absolutely. In, it? Second in. I can't even put it Scary. Forward. We've also got, obviously, Mares, Grealish players who will potentially play in these fixtures that you could get in your team as an option. What about, like, using a bench boost to summit and yeah. getting a couple of extra? It depends, it depends. Because if you've got, say for some people, if you've got Haaland and other, like, high expensive players like De Bruyne, your bench is usually just made up of people who are the cheapest ones available. So some of those don't actually play. But... I've got Raya in goal, so I'm Ooh, a little bit okay. nervous about that, you know, because that obviously... But Brent, if you've only made one transfer, though, you've got plenty of transfers. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be honest, I think, I think City win both those games, but I don't think it's a blowout. No, I don't either. It's yeah. never. So we, that's what I mean. It looks like a trap on us. Like, I want 7 0, but also I'm thinking my points. As well, you know? well, you'll get saves, though. It gets points for saves. I get saves, saves. okay. Yeah. Extra 18 points for saves, seven conceded, that'll do. I think everybody in the studio agrees that as a Manchester City fan, we fear the worst with every single game. So yeah, without not a doubt, yeah. Nothing more terrifying These than, home, than two home games against Fulham and Brentford. Nothing more terrifying than a positive person. Yeah, absolutely. Let's move on to our. Uh, our next one, Manchester United. That lot. Who are playing Aston Villa and Fulham. They've hit a bit of form, started Rashford, playing yeah. reasonably well. as well. Oh, yeah, a lot he's of flying, points, yeah. But I don't want to touch them. And Natalie Pike, as you can see from her uh, name on fantasy, no United players. I don't <laughs> think she, she wouldn't. <laughs> she, I think that speaks for itself, yeah. Uh, yeah, those are two away games. It's always tricky with that, isn't it? Maybe we should be looking at Mitrovic here, you know, the other way around. You know, Mitrovic against United. You know? I like what you've done. Yeah, like, I'm going to flip smart. it. I'm going to flip it. Yeah. I mean, Dallo has been scoring a lot of points in, in FPL. Like, yeah. he's, he's, he's had a really good season. I wouldn't have expected it. I probably would never have picked him as well. Mm. No. Um, he, he, but they're keeping clean sheets, aren't they? And he's making he tackles, getting forward. So it kind of speaks for itself, but I'm still not making one. Yeah, I can probably see a clean sheet or two there, actually. He's in, the top, he's in the top 10 defenders as well, yeah. um, which, is, which really? is mad. And then Marcus Rashford is now back in mm. the goals as well, back in the goal involvement. He might bring Dallo in, actually. So. Oh, okay. You are going to bring Dallo. I might, in, do, I might yeah. do. It's a he's lying, everyone. He's lying. No, yeah. I'm just going to see if he's got more points than my current guys. <laughs> then he's going. No, in. and they That's haven't. Important. They haven't. That's the thing. Yeah. There is a lot of mind games going on in this studio today. Every single episode. When we first started the first episode of FPL, we were all so happy, <laughs> so so like me, Sean and Nadeem, so happy to see each other. Now we're all walking in. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the defensive energy there as well. Arms <laughs> crossed. <laughs> no, yeah. just, glorious. No, yeah. it's just it, every time I do the show, like I really, really enjoy doing the show, but like it just brings back. Real trauma and misery, because every time I think I'm going to push up, every time I think I'm going to push on, I pick players who I think are going to make a difference, and they do nothing. The way I see it, you're only as good as your last week, and you had a very, very good week with 70 points. Let's talk about West Ham. West Ham are playing Crystal Palace and Leicester. There is a man that I'm backing, and I've put him in my team for one week. I took him straight out because he didn't score. It was Skamaka. Skamaka. He looks like he's a player, mate. One one point last weekend, though. It was a bad you got, you got, you, did he get? Oh, he didn't get to 60 minutes, did he? He didn't get to 60 oh. minutes. That's a, that's a red flag there. Isn't it? That's a huge red flag. That's, that says to me a manager that's not quite trusting him yet. Yeah. yeah so and Antonio's like, come back in as well. What about Jared Bowen, though? Before he's, the in World my Cup? Team. he's in my team. So he's not quite as flying as he was last season, but still doing pretty well, isn't he? So. He's only got one player not performing his whole team. What a blessing. Two home fixtures before the World <laughs> Cup, he's going to be pushing. Yeah, yeah, he is, in he that is. squad. Yeah, he is, yeah. I think he's probably one of those players that's in that 55-man squad or whatever, but then I think so am I. So squad. ultimately, does it, does it make <laughs> we any all difference? We all are. I think, I think, yeah. I think I'm in the Everyone, team. yeah. If you've yeah. kicked a ball around anywhere <laughs> this year, you're in the squad, I think. That's the Madison. Well, I mean, yeah, look. There are a lot of fixtures there. Let us know in the comments below whether you fancy any of our City tips. I've not made them. Don't blame me. It was Nadem. Everything was everything <laughs> was Nadem. He did it all. Blame it on Nadem. And he's done it all. That is it for another episode of the FPL show. We're not going to see you for a while. It's World Cup. So enjoy the World Cup. Enjoy the last fixtures of FPL. And we will see you in the new year for the return of the Premier League. But most importantly, the return of Fantasy Premier League. 
slid in by yes, of course, Erling Haaland. Welcome to Manchester. Manchester City have the goal that their early dominance has merited. It's the left back, Jao Cancelo. He shoots, he scores! Kevin De Bruyne!